Don't place bowler like this, place like this, don't place your minis like this instead, place them like this and, here are 27 ways to counter 27 minis. Archer could be annoying to deal with and to counter her you can place two frontline minis like this, use magic archer's third ability and at last, use the royal ghost to make backline invisible. Shield Maiden is going to be your direct counter to Barbarian Wile, you can use stuns like Mega Knight or Giant Skeleton or slows from the Ice Wizard to prevent it from ramping up. There are no direct counters to the wizard but, do not place your minis like this and never use heal abilities against him or he will counter it with two elixir. There is no direct way of countering Ice Wizard rather, just spread your minis to not give him the area upgrade value. You can use the giant skeleton to absorb damage and give a head start for the explosion or else predict the fisherman for a direct counter to him. For countering minor either go for a slow tank like Pekka at the back or make your backline invisible. People often 3 star their swordsman and to counter it, get the golden giant with the first ability and have some free heals. Knight could be annoying if he tanks, so get minis with 2 damage or use barbarian king's super to counter him. Once the guard gets his shield it is difficult to take him down so, try to first attack towards him to counter him. To decrease the effectiveness of musketeer's knockback, just stack backlines behind frontlines. Lumberjack's clash is in a plus, the other thing in a plus is fisherman hook, not only you cancel it but you can hook all 5 minis. Just avoid minis with shield or block abilities and super abilities and you will do fine against mini P.E.K.K.A. Golden Giant can only not out heal the 4 abilities, Giant Skeleton with damage upgrade, a Monk Super and Bowler and Prince with first ability so avoid any other stun ability. The fast hit speed of Dart Goblin comes with a catch which is in favor of Shield Maiden, and so she just wrecks him. Healing Ranger is a healer so, the sensible choice against her would be an anti-heal ability like Wizard. To counter the giant skeleton, knock him to the back with your prince and by the time he comes back, he won't get any sort of value. Just try that your opponent doesn't hit a lot of minis with every swing and your will do just great. Place your minis at the back to reduce the effectiveness of the invisibility and utilize your splash properly and you can just destroy the royal ghost's whole career. If your enemy places the bowler in the very front, predict the placement and use the prince to counter it. Forget what I said now, place the bowler at the very back, and now you will counter the prince, seems like a uno reverse card to me. Use this placement and your opponent's magic archer would only get one mini in contact regardless of the placement. Battle Healer, once again being a healer just gets destroyed by anti-heal ability. The skeleton of which acts like a shield, against the super of the electric wizard which is great news for the witch. Pekka's most useful ability is the block ability, you can stun him with the prince and by the time it is over your block is also over. A level 8 monk can easily counter mega knight regardless of how much you upgrade him, so you should avoid doing it. The skeleton of which are susceptible to shield maiden super and, if you got the level 8 ability you have infinite supers. Fisherman has no direct counters, it all comes down to the placement. 